Yep, that's right. Another fire in my living room. You probably wonder what went wrong. Let's start at the beginning. For my new project, I needed something cut out of acrylic. And so I thought to myself, you know what would be a great Christmas present for a girlfriend? A laser cutter. And so I ordered one. When I started the search for a company that can cut acrylic, I had no idea that you can just have a laser cutter right in your home. I just always assumed that lasers were pretty dangerous. That's how they presented it in the movies. Whoa! So then I did a little research and found out that you can buy some laser cutters for already $200. And after watching a bunch of YouTube videos and reading reviews, I narrowed it down to this one called Sculptfon 10. It looked impressive to me, and it said that it can cut through 15 millimeters of acrylic. All I needed is to cut through 6 millimeters of acrylic. So when it got delivered, I couldn't wait to put it together to try it out. It didn't look too complicated. It's one of those projects where you can just sit down on the floor like back in the days playing Lego while watching an episode of Seinfeld. It even came with these senior citizen style protection goggles. I have to say these are probably one of the best instructions I've ever seen. Every step has its own package of screws. It took me probably about 20 minutes to put this thing together. The cable tracking could definitely be a little better. I downloaded a free 90 day demo version of the software they recommended that is needed to create and download the G-codes to the CNC controller. Wear eye protection every time you work on the laser, cause you never know what happens. I am ready for that first test run, let's do it! But before I can get started, I have to set up the correct distance to the material. For this there is a handy little setup master included. To make sure I'm not engraving into the table, there is a frame button that shows you the outlines of the project. I had to see how it looks in the dark. The first engraving turned out okay. What I'm doing here is a material test to find the correct parameter settings to cut through the material you're using. Before trying it on the acrylic, I wanted to make sure the measurements are actually correct, so I tried it on this peel and stick tile I had left over. This way I was able to make a correction on a dimension that was a little bit off. At this point I felt pretty good about trying it out on a thin piece of acrylic I still had laying around from another project. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I watched a video on YouTube and he recommended to put wet paper towels under the acrylic sheet to stop the power of the laser beam so it doesn't burn the underside of the acrylic. With 15 passes on each cut this would take a while so I thought let's get a little snack and watch some TV. Now the manual does not tell you that you can't see hardly anything on the TV with these glasses on. What is flocking all over my dessert here? It also doesn't tell you that you won't be able to see when your house is on fire. If you have seen my Tesla video, you know why my fire extinguisher is empty. Always have a full fire extinguisher in the house, especially if you play as much with fire as in this household. So what happened is that the laser went right through the clear acrylic and the wood underneath caught on fire and eventually the whole acrylic started to burn. Cause what they also don't tell you anywhere is that you can only cut black acrylic with a diode laser like this. What I learned from this is that you want to do this kind of work outside. The particles from the melted acrylics were everywhere. I had to clean the whole house. The benefit was that it highlighted all the spider webs and it was too toxic of an environment for any spiders to actually live in them. Michelle from PartyPerfect.life was able to import the program I already made and cut out the 6mm clear acrylic with a CO2 laser. And look how nice it turned out. Beautiful clean cuts, no burn marks anywhere. So if you want to start a laser business, you might need something better than this. But for engraving and cutting out wood, this one actually worked pretty good. I bought some gasket material on Amazon 
And I was able to cut out all the gaskets for my next project. Some of these specialized gaskets are pretty expensive. This one that I need for my next project will cost me $26. It's probably gonna take me 20 to 30 minutes to measure and draw it, but then I can cut out as many as I want. And I could even sell them for half that price on eBay. If you have a little bit of drawing skills and some creativity, this could be a lucrative side business. You know, just don't burn down the house. Now, if you got curious to what I'm building out of this, you should watch this video next. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.